Hi all, my name is Bala. I'm an Active Directory Administrator. Today's topic is proactively knowing your domain account and password expiry date by your own. Targeted audience, end users, IT help desk engineers, desktop support engineers, window system administrators, Active Directory administrators and IT managers. After watching this video, end users proactively can know their domain account expire date, domain account password expire date, domain account last password reset date, domain account lockout status as well as group membership details. Using NetSpace user command, we are going to fetch the above mentioned details. Let's have a quick live demo. Let me start the demo session. This is my Active Directory domain mcp.com. I have two test user account, John and Mark. Let me show you John account status first. Just right click properties account. Currently John account is locked out and the account expiry date is December 31st, 2018. John is member of domain users group. Meanwhile, I will show you the Mark account status as well. Just right click properties account. Currently Mark account is not locked out and the account is set as never expires. Mark is member of this many AD groups. These details we are going to fetch it from end user mission. I am going to use Mark account as for demo purpose. So Mark is going to use the net user command to fetch the details like password expiry date, group membership details, account expiry date. On behalf of John, Mark is going to check the account status of John. Let me start the demo with Mark account. Already Mark account was authenticated on his mission. Let me confirm that. Just go to command prompt. Yeah. If you put who am I? Yeah, Mark account was authenticated. Let me show you the version of operating system. Currently Mark is using Windows 10 machine. So currently Mark is going to enter the command net user. So using that command is going to fetch the details whatever we seen in the AD server. Yeah, this is how the result looks. The password expiry date, account expiry details, the group membership details, whatever we have seen the same details here also getting reflect. Now Mark is going to check the account status for John. As I mentioned earlier, John account was locked out and the account expiry date was December 31st. So the account needs to be extended from January 1st onwards. After that only he can able to log in. And John is not a member of any other AD group apart from domain user group. This is the result we will get if you put net user command. Thank you for watching. This is the easy way to retrieve the user account and password expiry details. NetSpace user command works for all domain users. There is no special permission required. Only requirement is system should be connected in VLAN or VPN network. NetSpace user command works on all MS supported operating system. Based on your domain policy, system will notify your password and account expired date in advance. Here you may have a question then why should I watch this video? The answer is below. All system users can easily identify their account and password expired date in just a single command. Calling help desk is a bit time consuming task. Instead, if the user is aware of this command, he will get an exact status of his account without any guidance. If a person is going for a long vacation, while coming back, his account or password might get expired. Then he need to call the help desk engineer for further assistance. If he is aware of this command before going vacation, he can know the status of his account, when his password is going to expire, when his account is going to be expired. Based on that, he can, act, he can act accordingly. Either he can reset his password or he can reset his account status. IT help desk can educate this end users to avail NetSpace user command for checking account status so that IT help desk engineer 
can easily reduce their call volumes. Attention to AD guys, net user command fetch the details based on default domain policy. So please exclude net user command for checking fine grained password policy accounts. Always use AD PowerShell for checking FGP account status. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I welcome your likes, comments and share. Please subscribe our channel for more technical videos. Thank you for watching. Next video will be how to resolve frequent account lockout issue.